chapter 7, lesson 4, is solving word problems. So, as you'll notice, at the end of every chapter, there's an application usually that deals with word problems. So, which means the tool that we need for these problems would entail what we have learned from before, which are our bar models. But since we're dealing with ratios, the more important bar models that we would need for this chapter or this lesson would be the bar models for comparing multiplication and division, as well as the bar models for fractions. Okay, so um, I shall be doing three problems for this lesson. Uh, and uh, I'll read out the problem and do the bar models as well. So this is on page 132. So the pages are 132, 137, and 141. So 132, problem number two. It says, Darren and Shelby ran a total of 1,000 meters. The ratio of the distance that Darren ran to the distance that Shelby ran was 1 is to 4. Okay, so there's the Darren and there's Shelby. The ratio is 1 is to 4. So that means 1 box is to 4 boxes. So this is why I said the compare model for multiplication is important. Okay, so which means this in total is 1,000 meters. Okay, so in the problem, it gives us some things, uh, some blanks that we need to fill out. So I'll discuss with that in mind. Okay, so the first it says blank units equals 1,000 meters. So they're trying to help the kids be able to visualize. So that means the 1,000 is equivalent to 5 units. The 4 plus the 1. Okay, then they always will do one unit is equal to 1,000, blank, ah, 1,000, then blank, and then blank. So this means divided by 5. Okay, so that means one unit is equal to 200. The question is, how far did Darren run? So that means one unit is what we want, therefore Darren ran 200 meters. Okay, so let's see another problem that uh, we will do is on page 137. Okay, so on page 137, it says, this is 4B. The number of stamps Don had from Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia were 7 is to 5 is to 3. Okay, so let me write those down first. So, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia is 7 is to 5 is to 3. Okay, he had 45 stamps from Thailand. Okay, so we'll do a bar model for this. M, T, and I. Okay, so again, if you can do it without the bar model, fine. But if you can't, the bar model really will be helpful. So this will be seven boxes. This will be five boxes. And this will be three boxes. Okay, so, and then it says there's 45 from Thailand. So this is 45. Okay, so, um, if I didn't do a bar model, I would have found, since this is 45, this is 7 is to 5 is to 3. So this is 45. Okay, so without the bar model, this is what we would have done. This would have been a times 9, which means this would have been a times 9, and that would have also been a times 9. So this times 9 is 63. This times 9 is 27. Okay, but with a bar model, this is saying that 45 divided by 5, which means each one is 9. So that's the times 9. Okay, so which means either case, whatever you want to do is fine. 
Okay, so which means here the question is how many more Malaysian stamps did he have than Indonesian stamps? So for Malaysia and Indonesia, this is what we're looking for. How many more did he have of Malaysia than Indonesia? So Malaysia is 63. Indonesia is 27. So the equation would have been 63 minus 27 equals question mark, which means if you subtract, that should give you 36, meaning he had 36 more Malaysian stamps than Indonesian stamps. So I shall be discussing one more problem. The number comes from page 141. Okay, so this is problem 5A. So it says, at a carnival, the number of adults to the number of girls to the number of boys is 4 is to 7 is to 9. So let me write that down. Adults to boys to girls, sorry. Adults to girls to boys is 4 is to 7 is to 9. Okay, there are 26 more boys than girls. How many adults were at the carnival? Okay, so here they gave a bar model, which is similar to the last bar model that we made. Okay, so this has four divisions, which means this has seven divisions. And this has nine divisions. Okay. And it says that there are 26 more boys than girls. So that means this must be the 26. Okay. So the question is how many adults are there in the carnival. So that means this is what we want. Okay, so again, if you didn't draw this, it's very hard to solve. So that's the beauty of the bar model. It really helps you think. So which means if you look at this 26 is equal to two boxes. So which means two units is equal to 26. Okay, and again, they have these things that you fill out. But don't depend on the filling out because in the long run, there won't be filling out anymore. So the problem is in the workbook, they don't have these filling out stuff. Okay, so that means this is one unit is 26 divided by 2, which is 13. So each box is 13. So that means if we want the number of adults, that would be 4 units is equal to 4 times 13 or vice versa. It doesn't matter because multiplication can be any order. So again, if we multiply, we should get 52. So if you can't do it mentally, again, reminder, you have to write it computationally. So that would be 12, carry 1, that will be 5. So there were 52 adults in the carnival. That concludes lesson four of chapter seven, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.